Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all my brothers and sisters all around the Muslim world. I love all of you for the sake of Allah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. It's your brother Mustafa, inshallah, with another reminder that is first to myself. Anything I say uh, is first to myself, and I try my very best to follow whatever I say before I get on YouTube and tell y'all about it. Alhamdulillah. The reminder today is going to be about dealing with people who just took their shahada. And it's going to be very simple. It's not even going to take long. There was this guy I was talking to. He was telling me about how someone he was close to was converting to Islam and how they were eating a lot of pork. Like, you know, they ate a lot of pork. And, you know, he was telling me about that. And then there's other stories I've heard, you know, where guys, you know, talk about someone coming to Islam and they'll tell them to, oh, you know, if you become Muslim, you can't go to the go-go no more. You can't go see, you know, Drake perform, whatever that is, really. Uh, and you can't go to rap concerts or you can't have a girlfriend and you can't have this and that. You can't drink, you can't smoke. And that's the wrong thing to do to a person who just comes to Islam. Uh, obviously, all those things mentioned are bad things, uh, are forbidden in the religion, and we shouldn't really do them. We shouldn't go to concerts. We shouldn't, you know, support music. We shouldn't go to clubs. We shouldn't drink. We shouldn't smoke. You know, all these things are correct. But is that what the Prophet Sallallahu taught for us to say to people who just take their shahada? Clearly not. If you read his life, which is what Muslims do not do. So many Muslims do not know, I would say 80% of Muslims don't even know about the life of the Prophet in its entirety. And if you have not read his life in its entirety from day one till the end of his life, then you have no idea who he really is. The most we do is read a couple of hadith and that doesn't tell you who the Prophet was. Do you even know who the Prophet was and do you even know what he did in certain situations? You can't know that if you didn't read. You have to read his life. The book I recommend is called The Sealed Nectar. That's the best biography that I've come across of his life. But you need to read about his life so that you know how he dealt with certain situations. And if, when it comes to new Muslims, if you know anything about the Prophet's life, he dealt with them very kindly. He didn't tell them nothing about not having a girlfriend, boyfriend, music, sex, drugs. He didn't tell them nothing about any of that because he knew that until a person believes in Allah properly, and until they pray the Salat, nothing they does matter. So a person doesn't even pray, but we're telling them, you know, stop drinking, stop smoking, stop clubbing. That makes no sense at all. That's like me telling you to build a house without giving you tools or money to fund it. it makes no sense. A person can't stop doing these things if they don't believe in Allah properly and if they don't pray five times a day. So when a person comes to Islam, be very kind to them, be very gentle to them, and, and teach them about Allah. Teach them that, you know, Allah is one God. He's not one in three, the egg, the yolk. All that is, you know, ridiculous, outrageous nonsense. And teach them that Allah is one, meaning one, no other number, no other, nothing other than the number one. Nothing else comes into play. That Allah is one, that Allah does not have children. That Allah is not a man. Allah does not have sexual desires, he, uh, orgasms, use the bathroom, uh, becomes depressed, wants a woman. Allah is not a human being. He is not like us. Teach them that. Teach them that Allah is above his throne. He is not everywhere. You know, some people say Allah is everywhere, so he's in the bathroom. Teach them, teach the person that Allah is, you know, most merciful. He's most gracious. He is you know the only one that needs to be worshipped. You don't worship anything beside him. Not Jesus, not Moses, not Prophet Muhammad, not anyone or anything. Not your husband, not your wives, not your kids. You worship him alone. And make sure they pray the Salat five times a day. Teach them to pray five times a day, that they need to establish prayer because Allah says in the Quran that praying five times a day is what keeps you from committing sins. This is what keeps you and helps you to Keep coming from, from committing any indecencies. So may Allah guide us and give us a proper understanding of Islam and the Sunnah of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I love all of you for the sake of Allah. 
if I can ever be of any assistance or do anything, please uh, inbox me on Facebook, inbox me on YouTube, 